Hydrocarbons are the simplest type. Hydrocarbons are the simplest type of organic compounds. Hydrocarbons are the simplest type of organic compounds. Containing hydrogen and carbon atoms, not carbon only, please. You can see have um, halogens there. And carbon atoms, full stop. Take um, a paragraph. Take a paragraph. On the basis of structure, on the basis of structure, comma, on the basis of structure, comma, hydrocarbons are divided into two main classes. On the basis of structure, hydrocarbons are classified into two main classes. On the board, please. Aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons. Aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons. Give me one line space, paragraph. One line space, paragraph. Aliphatic hydrocarbons are open chain. Let's look at aliphatic hydrocarbons. Aliphatic hydrocarbons are open chain compounds containing Aliphatic hydrocarbons are open chain compounds. You can say containing or that contains no rings. Containing or that contains no rings. R I N G S. Rings. That contains no rings. Full stop. Whether they contain single, double, or triple bond. Whether they contain single, double, or triple bond. Full stop. In other words, they may be saturated or unsaturated. You know what that means now, right? What does it mean? What was it that saturated? What does it mean? When something is saturated, it's not single bond. For crying out loud. When something is saturated, what does it mean? When, which of them is saturated? Is it alkene, alkene, or alkynes? Alkenes are saturated. So if you want to use the word single bond, you say saturated compounds are compounds that contains single bond in quotes only. Because even when you have a double bonded compound, e.g., something like this, look at this. This is a double bonded compound, something like this. This is double bond, but observe these two are connected by a single bond. That means even in an alkene, there's a single bond somewhere. So you don't just say single bond because even alkene itself has some part where it is single bonded. So the idea would be it is single bonded only. That's the, that's the key term there. Speak organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. All right. Full stop. Continue, please. Some aliphatics, some aliphatics, aliphatic with S. Some aliphatics in bracket like the cycloalkanes. Some aliphatics you said aliphatics are open chain compounds. Yes. Now you are now adding something to the game. You are saying some aliphatics like the cycloalkane. When I say cycloalkane, what does, what does it mean? It means it's what there a ring form and also what there an alkane, a cycloalkane. Example. One, two, three. This is single bonded. It's in ring form. Cycloalkane. One, two, three, four. This is in cyclic form. Single bond. Cycloalkane. 
All right, so I said some aliphatics in bracket, like the cycloalkenes, are, are cyclic molecules. Are cyclic molecules. Are cyclic molecules, but their rings are not stable. But their rings are not stable. But their rings are not stable as those of the aromatic. But their rings are not stable as those of the aromatic compounds. All right. The aliphatics include one, two, three, four. All right, take a note down, please. So I'll talk about aliphatic. Aliphatic include alkene, alkene, alkynes, cycloalkene. There are more to it, but let's um, hold on this, please. Let's hold on this, please. Take down, please. Cycloalkanes, note, N slash B, note. Cycloalkanes have the same general molecular formula. Cycloalkanes have the same general molecular formula as the alkenes. This one here. As the alkenes. This one here. Cycloalkanes have the same general molecular formula as the alkenes but are cyclic but are cyclic while alkenes are acyclic but are cyclic while alkenes are acyclic while alkenes are acyclic. So we have this. All right, so look up, please. Look up, please. Um, first things first. First things first, please. First things first. Now, this is weird, but that's how it is. We said under hydrocarbons, based on their structure, we classify them as aliphatic and aromatic. What are, uh, what are aliphatic compounds? They are simply compounds that are not in ring form. In other words, they are open chain compounds. Example, the alkanes, the alkenes, the alkynes. But then, what's weird now is this. I have things called cycloalkanes. Cycloalkanes are actually what they are. They are actually cyclic. That means they are actually ring compounds. Um, an alkane, a very simple example would be, would be this ethane. That's this one here. I will treat this shortly. We will treat it shortly. So here is ethane. Observe that this is just a straight line like this. So we call this al um, aliphatic. Why? It's not forming a ring compound. It's just straight. So it's an aliphatic. It was a double body compound like this. So this one will go off. Something like this. This now becomes ethane. Observe it's still a straight line. I can choose to write how many carbons like this. It's still a straight line. But then, there's something worse. For cycloalkanes, if it's a cyclo, that means it is forming a ring compound. Now, seeing this one here, the idea of cycloalkanes does not really perfectly suit the idea of aliphatic because we said aliphatics, they don't have, they don't have um, a ring compound. But then, note that there's an exception to that one there. So there's an aliphatic that has a ring-like structure, and that's what there, the cycloalkane. So please, take note here. So there's actually an aliphatic that is cyclic in nature. It's cycloalkane. Um, what you should notice is this. Cycloalkanes are isomers of alkene. You need this idea to do that past question I just sent to you now. I think it's a past question. You need this idea to do that past question. So you can notice there that cycloalkanes are isomers of alkenes. Please take note. Cycloalkanes are isomers of 
uh, things. Let me show you how that's done. Um, I think the simplest uh, the simplest cycloalkene I can get is cyclo one two three. That's cyclopropane. Now let's take a propane. Let's take the alkene equivalent. Let's take propane. For a pro propane is not a proper name. But it should be one propane. But let's assume for now as propane. We'll discuss this one much more later. So let's look at propane. For prop, I expect three carbon atoms. So one, two, three. Um, for an in, I expect a double bond. So perhaps double bond. Your next step now be fill, fill this up. We said for for a proper balanced carbon atom, each of them should have four bonding. So this one has one, two, two is left. I have three and four. This one has one, two. Of course, these two will be connected by this. So this one now has one, two, three. One more makes it four. This one has one, three is left, two, three, and four. So from this one here, this is an alkene, that's propene, or better still, one propene. I'll tell you why it's one much more later. If I want to get the molecular formula of this, I'm having three carbons, one, two, three. So it becomes C3. I'm having how many hydrogen there? One, two, three, four, five, six. H6. So propene is C3H6. Let me get the cyclo counterpart of this in this alkane formula. Now we said cyclo and alkane. If it's an alkane, that means it's a single bond. So let's have three carbons forming a ring-like structure and all being connected by a single bond. Single bond here, single bond here, single bond here. My next task will be to balance them up. This one has one, two. Two more left, so H2 to make it four. This one has one, two. Two more left, so it becomes H2 to make it four. This one has one, two. Two more left, I have H2 to make it four. If I want to get the molecular formula of this becomes a cyclo, cyclo, I tell you why it's cyclo in the last, the last class, because it's ring, ring like structure, then a probe, probe because I have one, two, three, three carbon, and then it's an alkane, single bond, to become cyclopropane. This one becomes one, two, three, C3, H into two, 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 six. Observe that both of them have the same molecular formula, but different structures. So I'm saying that probe alkenes and cyclo, not cycloalkane, Sorry, not cycloalkene, but cycloalkenes. Alkene and cycloalkenes are isomers. Please take note. They're isomers. They're isomers. What kind of isomers are they? Chain isomer, functional isomer, or geometric? Huh? What kind of isomer are they? Is it chain ice? We did three types of isomer in the last class. We did chain, we did functional, we did geometric. So, what would say they are isomers? What type of isomers are they? Huh? What's a chain isomer? Before you start starting chain isomer, what's a chain isomer? For chain isomers, what happened there? They have what there? The same molecular formula. What again there? The same functional group. Is it not? Yes. Yeah, check your notes. Same molecular formula, same functional group, but what there? Different arrangement of what atoms in space. What the functional isomer? They have what there? The same molecular form, but what there? Different functional group. Look at this one here. These two have the same molecular formula C3H6, C3H6, but they have different functional group. For this one here, the functional group is what there? A double bond. That becomes what there? An alkene. For this one here, it becomes what there? A single bond. That becomes what there? An alkene. So it's what there? A functional isomer not a chain isomer please all right let's proceed let's now look at aromatics before we move on please let's now look at aromatics let's now look at aromatics aromatic hydrocarbons Aromatic hydrocarbons, also called arenes. Aromatic hydrocarbon, also called arenes. They're evil counterparts. I said arenes, not arenes. What are you going to write arenes? I said arenes. 
also called arenes, are cyclic. Aromatic are cyclic. So you call them either the aromatic or the arenes. Um, are cyclic that consist of conjugated planar ring systems. That consist of conjugated planar ring systems. Accompanied by delocalized. Accompanied by this way. Delocalized. Delocalized pi electron. I'll explain what this means when we start doing the arenes. I'll tell you what a delocalized pi electron means. Oh, we start treating arenes. Accompanied by delocalized pi electron cloud. Delocalized pi electron clouds. Electron clouds. Pi electron. This, this one here. Pi electron clouds. Cloud. C L O U D. Or perhaps let's use electron then clouds. Electron then clouds. Plural form. In place of individual, in place of individual alternating double and single bonds. In place of individual double and single bonds in place of individual double and single bond accompanied by the, the localized pi electron clouds in place of individual alternating double and single bond please alternating double and single bonds please the best example of the aromatics are benzene and toluene. We'll treat all of this much more later. Uh, benzene and toluene. Uh, benzene and toluene. Toluene. All right. All right. So I think um, with this one here, we can take a pause. Let's now look at the major ones there. Let's now treat the alkanes. So take down please, alkanes. Would you